The first vision I'm seeing in the Akashic Records about the 1111 portal is of a clock. And the hands of the clock are spinning and all the numbers say 11. And then they stop and it points 11, 11, 11, 11. And now I'm seeing the clock expand and now I'm in the clock. And I'm just seeing light, sound, vibration as if I'm walking through this intergalactic portal and it's just the number one. And I'm seeing in this portal, I'm seeing everything. I'm seeing everything, humans, animals, plants, galaxies, universes, minerals, different species of plants, different animals, different humans, every human on this planet and all other planets. And they're all branched off of this portal. It's like I'm walking through this portal, but on the outside of the portal is everything. But inside the portal, none of those things are individual. Outside of the portal, they are. But inside of the, inside of the portal, they aren't. The 1111 portal offers a unification codes. Dolphin codes of universal oneness. Unity consciousness. The ability to see beyond the veils of illusion that cause us to feel separate from each other. Everything that causes us to feel separate from each other, we see as an illusion because we see ourselves as one with everybody around us. And through this experience of oneness through the 1111 portal, we're more sensitive to energy because we're more empathic, because we're feeling on a deep soul level oneness. And so unconsciously, we are picking up <laughs> emotions from other people or we're feeling overwhelmed about all the energies, the chaos. And it's because the separation is the chaos. And through the chaos, it's like you're walking through this storm, but in this portal, it's just peace. There's no identity or self. There's no avatar. There's no past. There's just, you see how your ego and your identity and everything that you've identified with has cut you off from the whole. And so this portal, we lay to bed everything, everything that isn't who we are. The identities, the ego stories, the parts of ourselves that don't serve, the parts of ourselves that aren't who we really are. <laughs> we let them go. We allow them to die. We allow them to leave our lives. Because in the depth of the ego, you feel truly alive because you are your most authentic self when you've moved beyond the layers of the ego and you're just grounded in your soul self. This portal is an opportunity for unity, for collapsing the timelines that aren't in alignment with our soul's truth and destiny. This is a destiny realignment portal. This is a chance to make things happen in the way that we desire them to be, but not the we that has the ego. So not the avatar, not Sarah, but the way that our souls have contracted them to be and have chosen them to be and have by divine will offered them to be. We let go of the attachments 
We let go of the addictions. We let go of all those things that just aren't us, aren't our soul's truth. We're reminded more deeply of our service work and of our ascension because this is a powerful ascension portal because of the oneness codes, because ascension is all about eventually merging back into oneness. And so through the 1111 portal, we get these powerful codes and activations around oneness and around unity, which activates our cells and our DNA to integrate up to our highest ascension timeline. Offering us the ability to move more into unconditional love and truth and openness and unity and tr compassion for all beings that exist. And we're safe during this portal to expand our consciousness. We're safe to move to the next level and those limiting beliefs might come up. Any limiting beliefs you have, they could come up. And so it's a powerful time to move through them consciously, lovingly, soulfully move through them. And allow yourself to move beyond the ego limitations and enter into the soul's expression of self. The 1111 portal is going to activate star seeds. It's going to activate the light workers. It's going to bring us into this next realm of existence that we've been calibrating to for a long time. It's going to wake us up to the things in our lives that need to leave in order for us to grow. And there's very interesting, similar to the 555 portal is the free will and divine will. Now, this portal, there's a lot of energetic support. Your guides, if you're open to it, are just going to be right there. They're going to tell you exactly what you need to do, especially when you may be caught in the illusions. And through that experience, what we learn is we can use our free will if we want to. We could also align to divine will. It's our choice. What some of us may learn is that... When we align to divine will, our lives flow a lot better. We always have the opportunity to choose our free will, but within that experience, we may meet more resistance. We may meet more challenges because we're choosing from the mind and the ego and the identities instead of the spiritual source. You can currently receive my 1111 portal live workshop as well as the 1111 portal course through the link in my bio or through the description box wherever you're watching this. There is so much powerful content in both of these. The course is a five module course. It starts by going through in detail about the 1111 portal, how to work with the energies, all that. We go into spiritual awakening, ascension. I talk about how to connect to your oversoul. We move through ego death, ego resistance, how to manage when things are falling out of your life. We go through rainbow ascension codes, what they are, how they impact the layers and levels of our body, emotional, mental, physical, and astral and etheric and light. I teach you the four pillars of ascension, which is such a powerful module which is the four pillars that guide us to raising our frequency and guide us to our ascension that help us ascend so the four pillars are the pillars of healing the pillars of service the pillars of willingness and acceptance to change and the pillar of love so i teach you all about these pillars how to use them in your life there's worksheets involved it's super powerful and i also teach you about sovereignty in the last module. There's also an 1111 portal workshop. This is channeled messages about the portal, a guided meditation through the portal, and a light language attunement and quantum healing for the 1111 portal. 
I'm sending you so much love. All these links will be wherever you're watching this below or in my bio, description box, bio. I think those are the two services. These are going to be posted on. The 1111 portal will be absolutely like transformational. And it's absolutely so powerful when we work with these energies for our own transformation. I'm sending you so much love.